Hello everyone. This video is about handstand. If you are a beginner or at intermediate level but struggling with balance in, balance in handstand and don't know what actually you have to do or what you are doing wrong, then this video is going to help you. I'm going to discuss about the minor issues that people face while doing handstand or finding the balance. Without wasting any time, let's get to the video. First thing is prep. Going for a handstand and your weight is more than your shoulders, then there are, is a chance that you might bend your elbow while performing handstand. This is going to affect your balance, yes. And second thing to keep in mind, like while taking a prep, you should keep your hips above your shoulder to make it more easier and less efforts to go on that handstand position. The second thing that most of the beginners do while performing ball, ball assisted handstand is that they lose their core. While doing ball assisted handstand, they completely lie on ball with their legs. Because of that, they lose their core. So try to keep your core engaged. And that you can do by doing a single leg assisted handstand. If you are doing wall assisted, try to take the assistance from single leg only. This is going to help you in engaging the core and glutes. The third tip is while doing a wall assisted handstand, do not just kick the wall to go away from it. Just try to press. Firstly, you have to just go on a wall assisted handstand position and then you have to shift your weight towards your hands and remove the rest of the weight by pressing not by kicking the wall when you keep this thing in mind then you are not only just lifting the weight you are also working on the press fourth thing is perfect press most of the people don't know how to press properly while doing a handstand so these are your palms and here is the ground so you have to press downwards completely perpendicular to the floor, floor not inwards most of the people do this minor mistake that they pull their fingers inwards not downwards you have to press them downwards so that you press the floor not pull your fingers in because it is going to just reduce the base of the handstand not going to help you in balancing so keep this thing in mind while performing it or while pressing the thing is shoulder should be properly stretched we have seen a lot of banana handstands but disengagement of core is not the only issue that causes banana handstand but also the in unmobility of the shoulders if your shoulders are not mobile enough to be completely stretched then what our body do is compensate with the core. If you keep your chest out and stretch your shoulders properly, then you can also engage your core. But if, if you have not stretched it properly, then your core is going to be disengaged to find that balance. That is the incorrect form. So try to stretch or mobile your shoulders before doing handstand, after doing handstand, so that they can get more, more mobile, more flexible. And this is going to help you in avoiding the banana handstand thing is protraction while doing handstand try to maintain the protraction and then extend the shoulders upwards do not use the protraction or else you'll see a bend behind your chest behind your chest or upper back and to avoid this bend you need to do handstand in protraction also to maintain that protraction you can do a drill that is to lift your neck up like this while doing handstand do not look tight look on the floor strength is kicks the important thing of handstand because in the early age we don't press we just go on that position while with the kick so kick should be overpowered not underpowered if you are kicking very less then you are just wasting an attempt if it is overpowered then you can compensate the extra power by pressing but you cannot do anything if you are kicking less this kick slightly overpowered than required so that you can press and compensate and bring the whole body at the exact position where you have to balance it is conditioning it's not like that you are not able to do handstand because of like the less practice there might be a reason that you are not able to hold the handstand because you don't have enough strength for that you have to do some conditioning of your forearms shoulders triceps and your upper body mostly because it is going to help you to make the base stronger and also your core and glute ninth and uh, pro tip is the three A's that is attempt analyze and apply you have to attempt give hundred of attempt thousands of attempt and each and every you have to analyze each and every attempt that what you are doing wrong what you did right this time and then you have to apply those observations so uh, i am done with my points and i guess this video is going to help you with your handstand and just let me know where you are stuck text me on instagram so that i can reach to you and help you out with your progression thank you for watching the video hope to see you soon